Hello, in this video I'd like to show you my latest build. It's a power pre-regulator which I'd like to use in the new programmable bench power supply which should be a successor of this one. Main idea was to replace a fixed off-the-shelf AC-DC converter uh, which provide 48 volts on its output and require additional DC-DC converter as a power pre-regulator which is included in previous build. I tried to, to manage a equal size. This one is a little bit higher uh, because of more stuff which is included inside and bigger power this one it's 155 or 150 watts and this goes up to 260 watts this power pre-regulator also include a section for the bias supply and this one provides up to 4 voltages it's a 6.5 minus 8.5 that can be further regulated to plus and minus 5 volts and 2 which is floating uh, that means on the separate ground or could be connected to the primary ground on the secondary side which is plus and minus 12 volts uh, this one it's a auto switcher so it that means that it can accept wide input voltage range instead of previous one which require mechanical switch to switch between lower and higher AC mains voltage. Something what's interesting here that it's a, top, a chosen topology which is a, a current fed dual inductor converter uh, with it's in this is section and it also use a high voltage synchronous buck to provide variable output which could be from 2.5 to 52.5 volts up to 5 amps it can provide in this chassis continuously 3 to 3.5 amps continuously without additional cooling and if you want to go to the 5 amps we need to to push some air with some external DC fan I try to to put everything on one side so it's uh, easier to, to for wiring and try to use different type of connectors uh, that one cannot easily misplaced uh, and came into dangerous uh, situation that uh, let's say AC mains it's connected to the output or vice versa it also has two uh, indicators one is that the bias works so that's flyback it's a quasi resonant flyback it works it, it came from plus uh, 6.5 voltage and another one it's a fault that red one that some fault condition it's happen and that is usually uh, connected with uh, over temperature so we have here uh, NTC and uh, have comparator who who is set to a little bit above 70 degrees centigrade uh, after that a thyristor will uh, latch up and uh, shut down a main controller what's interesting uh, that a synchronous air rectifier it's also used here so that uh, efficiency is improved and uh, interesting thing is that uh, in the back, uh, back section silicon carbide uh, MOSFETs and diodes is used and a special interesting component is this transformer this transformer it's wind on the high permeability core this power pre-regulator it's 
tendon to use with a new post regulator so there is a two cable which goes here and here and this one is for uh, AC mains and AC mains uh, goes from this board powering uh, of power regulators goes through soft switch circuit make one connection to see how it works uh, it's mains power and for the defining output voltage we need some we need some uh, out uh, some signal from outside which normally will came from a post regulator so i'll use my my power supply here to set Control voltage, it should be something between 0 and 2.5. It's like this, and uh, we can we can power it here. Uh, maybe so for zero we have about 2.5 and uh, we can go show you also the amperage like this okay So I will go up to 5 amps. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the mains input. It's now 230. I can do the same with lower without any any changes okay and go back to zero voltage and that means two point about 2.5 so this is all for this time uh, thank you for your attention and goodbye